Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I am sharing 10 home decor tips. I've had this video on my list of videos to do for quite a while now and I have had quite a few of you ask for decorating tips. I definitely don't know it all. I do enjoy decorating though, so I wanted to share a few things that I have learned over my time of decorating that I hope will be helpful to you. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe, and if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. My very first tip is incredibly important, and that is to decorate your home in a way that you love and don't worry so much about what is on trend or how so-and-so has their home decorated or what so-and-so will think. Make sure that you love your home, you feel comfortable with it, you stay within your budget because you are the one paying for your home. You are the one paying for the furniture and the decor and you are the one taking care of your home and cleaning your home. My next tip is to find your style and I know sometimes this can be hard because we might admire many different styles but there usually is one style that you feel comfortable in that you want to be surrounded by and you can kind of figure this out by seeing what you're drawn to. So you can scroll through Pinterest and see what really catches your eye. You can make a board and just pin the pictures that are rooms and homes that you really like and see if there is a common theme. You can do the same on Instagram. It doesn't mean that you can't mix styles, but if you're drawn to a certain style, that will make it easier instead of going to the store and just buying a bunch of random things. My next tip is to pick a basic color palette. And this is especially important if you are renovating a home or you are moving and painting the whole house. But having a basic color palette really helps. It doesn't mean that you can't add additional colors in as accent colors but what i did which i have found to be very helpful is we just have three paint colors in our entire house and then we have white trim white fireplace mantles white cabinets white doors so our color palette would be a light gray we have a smoky blue in this room and then we have a little bit different shade of blue in our master bathroom and in our laundry room. So those three basic colors. But I do have a muted like bluish green a lot in the entryway and living room. I have some pink in here. I have coral in the laundry room. I bring out different colors when I change up my decor for the season. When you are selecting paint colors for your home, I say always, 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 get the little can or jar of paint. Bring it home before you buy the paint for the whole room or the whole house. Paint it on your wall, look at it in the daylight, look at it in the evening, because the paint color on the swatches at the store never look the exact same as they do in your home. There are lots of undertones, so grays will often have a blue undertone or a green undertone, and that will come out more or less depending on the lighting in your home. Make sure you let look at it in different light before you buy all of the paint and paint the whole room because there's nothing worse than painting a whole room and then realizing you really don't like that color. Another great tip is to look for an inspiration piece for your room. So in a bedroom, if you're not quite sure what you wanna go with, look for an inspiration piece. It could be some drapes, it could be a comforter, it could be a throw pillow with different colors and then you can select a color in there for your wall color, your accent pillows and your pictures on the wall and that will really help. My next tip is to take your time. I know 
it can be tempting to just want to get it done and have your whole room or whole house decorated and just sit back and enjoy it. And sometimes it seems like that's what people do when you see pictures on Instagram or you see videos on YouTube or shows on HGTV especially. It seems like it just took them a couple days or what have you. But there are a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, a lot of planning. And for those of us who show decor, there's a lot of buying and returning. You guys know that I took a long time to decorate. We bought our house three years ago, but it still hasn't been three years since we moved in. And I'm still decorating. And I'm perfectly fine with that because I really like the things in my home. It took me a while to even know what I wanted and then to find it and then to find things that worked with that and I moved different things around and it, I'm just so glad that we took our time instead of just like buying a bunch of things. It also helps you especially if you're moving to live in a place to get a feel for your home and decorate from there. My next tip is to have a budget. It can get really expensive when you are renovating a home. Even if you're finding good deals, trying to make good decisions, it really helps to have a specific budget. So when we renovated our home, we saved for quite a while. I saved all of the money that I made, every single penny. I did not spend any of it so that I could have money to decorate. And then after we did all of the big renovations, we still had more projects. So we would just save up for those and then do them. We still have some more projects that we would like to do that are expensive. So we just know we have to save for that. And then I also had a specific amount of money each month for decorating. So you can do it however works for your budget. If you have a bonus at work or you set aside in a savings account a certain amount per week or per month and then decorate, or you just have that certain amount to get things each month and you just take your time. However, it works well for you, but definitely have a budget. My next tip is to stick with neutrals for the larger pieces. You can definitely break this rule if you really want to, and there's nothing wrong with breaking this rule, but it does make it easier if you have neutral sofas and larger pieces because you can always add pattern and color in with throw pillows and blankets, but it can be a little hard to decorate if you get a bold pattern sofa you also could get a little bit tired of it later on. But if that's your thing, if you want to, go for it. So in our living room, we have the lighter gray sofas, but we have color in the pillows and I can change those out really easily. And then we have the greenish blue ottoman to bring in some color. So that makes it really fun. You could do a different colored ottoman. You could do different colored armchair so they aren't as expensive as a big sofa or a big sectional. My next tip is to know proper measurements or look them up. Having the proper height might seem like, oh, who cares? But when you're sitting in bed, you want that nightstand to be at that certain height for you to easily put something there. You want the lampshade to be at a certain height so that it makes sitting in bed and reading you know, work out right. Uh, the same goes for your end tables with your sofa. You want them to be a certain height. You want the lampshade to be at a certain height. Always go with eye level for hanging pictures and mirrors and things, but eye level for the average person because if you hang things too high, it can look kind of weird and it just makes everything look like it belongs together instead of all your furniture and then a picture way up there. 
There are also different rules for grouping things and you can play around with it. You don't have to stick to the rule like 100% of the time with everything. You can just play around with things until it looks right to you. But by knowing certain rules, it will really help you. So you make sure that you get a rug that is large enough or um, you have it in a position around your furniture that flows really well instead of looking like a postage stamp in the middle or something and you don't have to know all of these things or you're a terrible decorator you can find this stuff so easily you can just do a google search like rug size and <laughs> it'll have people who know all of those things will will let you know i looked on um, pinterest and there are lots of different um, posts about it and great information but it does really help things to look nice and have good flow. My next tip is command strips. I love these things. I used command strips on both of our gallery walls. I would have a million nail holes if I didn't. I even changed the gallery wall in our dining room to a completely different wall after a while. And then I looked at it and I was like, I need to put these pictures just a little bit further apart and so I changed it all again and I'm so glad I didn't put nail holes in the wall I'm so glad and then I have tons of pictures on the gallery wall near our stairs and again I use command strip there are no nail holes at all on the entire thing because I know I'll eventually want to put different pictures which might mean different size frames I might decide to take it all down and do something different in a couple years and that way I don't have to worry about patching up holes so I love these things but even if you aren't doing a gallery wall and just want to hang a picture unless it's extremely heavy like a mirror they work so well but they do have the weight uh, that they're able to hold on the package so I really like those my last tip is to look at things for a few days and don't be afraid to purchase things and return them. So sometimes you just aren't going to know until you get it. And there have been so many things that I purchased because I just could not tell in the store if it was going to look right with my table or with my other decor. And some things I bought and I loved it in my space and some things were absolute no's and I just returned it. Sometimes I buy things and I will start, you know, decorating the table or the shelf or the mantle or whatever and I just can't quite get it right. Step away, look at it an hour or so later, or even the next day, play around with it again until you get it right and just don't be afraid to play around with things. Don't be afraid to purchase things and definitely return things if they aren't working for you. Know that every person that decorates, I'm pretty sure, has to do a whole lot of buying and returning before they get it the way that they want. So those are all of the tips that I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys.